Cheers, everybody. We are back from a new location. Yep. Changing it up on him. For the second time this hour. He's not lying. <laughs> okay. So we did this whole review and I don't know. We'll just blame someone's computer, not mine for sure. Yes. And the whole thing crapped out. So we are doing it again. Right. Doing it again. So we So that have... means more whiskey. That's right. So we have today a Nashville Barrel Company rye store pick from Corona Cigar. Corona Cigar. And the Tempe Whiskey Society. Say that three times fast. Corona uh, Cigars and Tempe Whiskey Society. Yes. That's my one time. Exactly. Right. I've just had like three exactly. whiskeys. Exactly. So uh, it's 119 proof. Okay. And uh, it's seven years old. Okay. I have been a big fan of Nashville Barrel Company uh, bottles in general. Yes. They had good experiences. Yes. I'm a big rye guy. Their, their baseline uh, mash bill is a 95.5 and they source from MGP. So all good news there, at least from my, you know, from my side of the fence, I like a strong from, rye presence. From right where yeah. you're looking at it. That's right. It's rye-tastic. <laughs> Don't I had a really ridiculous. good. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Ridiculous <laughs> was the thing. Okay, let's get after it. All right, we talked about this, but the nose. Yes. Vanilla bomb. Love it. The very vanilla. The very vanilla. I get pumpkin spice. I don't get that as much. It could be because I'm very excited about PSL pumpkin season starting. Sizzle. But like, I get cinnamon, clove. Those are all pumpkin spices. They are. Cardamom. Cardigan. Yes. Um, so I think I think pumpkin spices and stuff, they're also kind of used in, in Christmas stuff. So I this is a little bit more Christmassy to me. Yes. This the feels, vanilla, yeah, the, the cinnamon, the clove. Like I this is like opening Christmas presents with your aunt and uncle getting hammered. <laughs> okay. I don't know where aunt and Maybe you had a different from. upbringing than I did. I'm not sure how your Christmases <laughs> were as a kid. But they just Christmas sound in August. Yeah, they sound different from, from me. Um, but again, a lot of vanilla, a lot of so a lot of cinnamon spice. Again, we're gonna be on the rye side, so it's gonna be spicier Love in theory, it. right? Yeah. All right. Flavor is phenomenal. A little more spearmint. A little more spearmint. Yeah. Good flavor. It, it's almost like you know we talk about sometimes rye can be refreshing, right? I get some of that spearmint on the front end that kind of makes this for 119, 120 proof nearly. It makes it almost refreshing at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then boom hits you with that warmth and depth in the back. The way that I'm uh, interpreting this, okay, this drinks way less than 120 proof to mm -hmm. me. Um, and I said it the first time, and definitely the second time you're drinking it, it also <laughs> drinks way less than 120 proof, but. Um, if you are familiar with your local store's palette profile, yeah. um, Tommy's and the Corona kind of profile is he likes to get a lot of sweetness, like a full palette of sweetness and spice. And I get a lot of sweetness in the front and then definitely some spice as it kind of like goes through your, through the palette. So you're saying this is prototypical Tommy right here. Yeah. This is Tommy, Tommy in a glass. The, the typical Tom. Tommy and Glass. <laughs> That's how I'm playing on this one. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really good. And I said this on the first one, but balanced, very well-rounded. The spice and the warmth, the vanilla yes. and the spice, very they very much complement each other. Yes. And they make it a very well-rounded mm -hmm. drink. You know, rye, you mentioned this, but Tommy has said that like their rye just don't move. And it's 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 almost frustrating to hear that. And a lot of I people say, that. oh, I don't like rye, or oh, I've never tried, I've never done that. Listen, rye is it's like it's not the best comparison, but I'm going to make it anyway. It's like IPAs, right? People are like, oh, I don't like IPAs. But then when you finally train yourself to like an IPA, you're like, oh my gosh, my eyes have been opened up. It's almost like there's all these beers and then there's IPAs. And so yeah. to me, bourbon is amazing and bourbon's always going to be great. But like yeah. just the complexity and the diversity that you get with rye. Yeah, it'd be like like a, an IPA and then go into like a session IPA or like right. a West Coast. You know, like yeah. they're very similar. Broadens you know? your horizons. Yeah, just in your head, think about something just a little different, you know? Mm -hmm. Rye, just a little more spicy, just a little better than bourbon. I think people think of spicy. More they, diverse. They, they can't get out of their head when they think of spicy, they think of hot. They think of hot yeah. wings. Right. Not that at all. Just more complex flavors than corn, yes. which is just sugar. Right? How about this? Uh, no corn. 
Zero just rye right. and malted yeah. barley, which is crazy to me. You know, that's a outrageous mash bill. Another surprise. Mm. How about this? Again, I've told you that I like Natural Barrel Company. I have a standard Natural Barrel Company rye. You've been this crushing is crushing that like, bottle. Right. We crushed some of it tonight. Again, look at this. On uh, our first recording. We're, we're pretty close to the end of this. Yeah. Um, this is their, their, not their small batch because they have a, a dedicated small batch, but this is just their regular batch. Mm -hmm. So about 175 barrels in this. Same mash bill between five and nine years. This is 115 proof. Okay. Um, and I believe it sells for maybe like 60, 65 bucks. Around like 10, 15 bucks less than a store pick would. First Which, thing I want people to notice. Bucks, ten bucks, yes. Yeah. Look at the darkness or lightness of the different bottles. Right. How much how different color uh, that is. It's tough with the lighting. To but you can see it there. Look how much lighter that bottle is that Ben has. Right. Um, Something that I do think is worth noting. The age is likely very different. Now, the proof is slightly different, too, so that will impact it. Yes. But I think the age... Four, it's four proof. It's not going to be like... It's not oh, yeah. much of a difference, you know? But a tad. But the the age that you're getting in that store pick... Yes. So contributes heavily to what we're about to find out here. So let's compare, because I always think it's important to kind of talk about this. There's a lot of people do store picks. There's a lot of store picks on the market. Are they better or are they not? And so this is a perfect opportunity. We have the chance to say... This is the same mash bill, same company, but this is one barrel that we think is better than the rest. Or at least Tommy does. Before the store pick. Be so. Before we get to that, do me a favor and comment below. Have you ever had a store pick that was worse than just the regular offering? It, mm. it happens, but I will say it is usually rare. Like most of the Eagle. time, it's rare. As most of the time, your store picks are going to be a little bit better. Right. A little bit older, a little bit better profile. Now, if your store is literally just like, send me a barrel and they're right. not doing any picking, well, that doesn't really count. But if somebody takes right. the time to actually do a pick, yeah. typically... As long as they're good. As long as the yeah. person picking the barrels are decent. You know. And if you want your liquor store to stay in business, they usually are. Right. Usually. Right. Usually. So... I'm looking at a couple store owners right now. You know who you are. Thank you for tuning in, though. Like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so the regular batched version of Nashville, everything seems to be considerably more muted. Mm -hmm. You know, the nose still vanilla, still a little spicy, a little spicy. But I get more of the uh, like the herbal notes, not as like cardamom, cinnamon. It's more like spearmint, it's a little floral too, right? Which, Which is just a more you have a to lighter, really find it. yeah. You have to you're like really digging into that. that. It's just more, like you said, we looked at the difference in color. There's probably a difference of at least a year, year and a half on this. Um, right. It is, I don't need to be offensive, Again, underwhelming. Right. This this experiment reassures why I like store picks when I have or when I have the chance to do store picks versus the normal like huh. small batch product. Yeah. Because you get considerably more flavor and, if you, and you get to support that store. You know, yeah. say, hey, I like what you're doing. Keep doing store picks. I don't support you guys. There's Again, a reason this we support yeah, those stores. Yeah. Exactly. This is this is Corona and uh, Timmy Wick Society mm -hmm. uh, pick. So you get to support both. Big fan of these. Flavor very much like the uh, nose. Mm -hmm. A little bit more muted. Um, and again, this is fun. This is not a bottle that like, you raved about this bottle. Until we tried Big Brother, right? Like I think about it as you know right. when you when you used to get those stouts, you get a stout and then they have the imperial stout. And then once you tried the big one, you couldn't go back to the little one, right? Like you you ask your wives. <laughs> <laughs> you tried what was best, and it yeah. you know it's hard to go if you've been drinking Bud Heavy all day, right? Well, maybe not the best example. Yeah. If you've been drinking a heavy beer all Yingling. day, and then you go to a, then you light. go to a light, it's tough at that point right. to. That's right. a tough transition. That's kind of what this is. This yeah. store pick is kind of the souped up steroided version of that regular Agreed. offering. Agreed. How are you grading this thing? This is a B plus for me. B plus, Ooh. A minus in that range. Um, I think it's bottles around, what was it? It was like, it's like 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Yeah. 80 bucks. So it's definitely one of those bottles that you're not buying as if you're a daily drinker. Um, you're not mixing well, you with You might this. be if you're a baller like that. Yeah. True. That's very true. Um, I wouldn't be mixing uh, like cocktails with this. Again, we've heard that this is not moving super fast. 
And so you may be going to Corona and ordering an old fashioned, and this may be in your old fashioned. This should be <laughs> no, not this one. That's absurd for but how good should, it is. You should have this. This is a great bottle. Yeah. I'm so I'm a little upset that Ben has that bottle. I'm not. Sorry. That's a great. Let's see it there. That's a. That's so we talked about. We did a video one time where we talked about like what our daily drinker was. Yep. Celebration bottle, impress your guests, or you know, monumentous occasions. And then the other one's like your Friday night drink. To me, that's like a Friday night drinker. Friday night. That is exactly what that is. It's yeah. a little bit. It's it's not allocated. It's not something you're never going to find again. Yeah. It's not something insane. Yeah. But it's a little bit better than that. Forty to sixty dollar bottle yeah. that you're drinking on Tuesdays, right? So this is a good right. Friday night bottle to me. Saturday night, Friday night bottle. Yeah. Watching a little college football or whatever yeah. that evening. That's that bottle for me. Yeah, that sits on the shelf, and you're thinking of, okay, I want a better performer than my Eagle Rare Rye. I want it to be in competition with maybe a Eagle Rare Rye. Uh, sorry, rare breed rye. I was like, like "What rare breed product rye? came sorry. out?" <laughs> yeah, Eagle Rare Rye. So it's yeah. a brand new. One. Yeah, it's a good um, one though. That's I think it, comparison. I think it's it's better than that. It competes on the uh, the it competes on the level with the new Jack Daniels. Oh, uh, yeah, barrel strength rye that release. I think it's definitely on that level. Um, so again, it's not your everyday drinker. It's a Friday night, really nice pour. It's a nice pour. Yeah. Speaking of that, Jack Daniels, the Limited edition that came out a couple of years ago, that rye, amazing. We've had some of the, I've, I've had it. I don't know if you've had it, but I've, I've had, had the. I've had it. The, it new, the new release. It's not on the same level. We will do a review. As that. But we will coming do, we soon, have a, we need to do that yes. very soon. So yes. make sure that you're subscribed. Stick around. Thank you guys a ton for all the support. We're going to continue to try and grow this YouTube channel. For myself. And myself. And yourself. Brendan. Cheers. Cheers. Bye, Brendan.